So the topic today is prostate cancer awareness. Ladies, don't you turn the channel though because the doctor is in and he says that you have an important role in helping to catch prostate cancer nice and early. Dr. Scott Ackerman is one of the First Coast leading oncologists and he joins us every Friday to talk about important health issues such as this one right here. Dr. Ackerman, as always, good to see you. Thank you, Nick. Good seeing you this morning. All right. Well, yeah, let's talk about this because, you know, it's always men pri primarily and this is something that we've got to you know, make sure that everybody is aware of, everybody is on the lookout for. Why do women have such an important role with prostate cancer awareness? Well, you know, women have a lot of jobs in the house, and they have a large role in directing the uh, health care of the family. Women talk to their husbands, they talk to their brothers, they talk to their fathers, they're very involved in the men in their lives. And what I'm encouraging women to do is talk to them about prostate cancer screening. I don't know if you know this or not, if, I don't know if, if you know this or not, Nick, but one in six men are affected with prostate cancer yeah. sometime in their lifetime. And the earlier prostate cancer is detected, the better chance that it can be cured. In fact, prostate cancer today is generally detected very, very early, and our cure rate is well over 90%. Yeah. And a lot of us guys, unfortunately, we're a little stubborn when it comes to going to the doctor. So really, like you said, the women really do kind of drive that home and make sure, honey, you need to go and get checked. So it is such an important role that they're playing. Now, you say that there are three things to remember regarding prostate cancer. What are those? So when you're looking at your chance of getting prostate cancer and whether you're going to get prostate cancer in your lifetime and whether you're going to be cured from prostate cancer, there's three things that I, that I like to talk about. Number one is risk. Number two is lifestyle. And number three is screening. Okay, so what are those? So the risk, what are some of the risk factors? That are so involved? risk, we look at risk factors. What is your risk factor for getting prostate cancer? Mm -hmm. the, the first thing there is genetics. Okay. Does your father or your brother have prostate cancer, maybe uncle? If your father or brother has pro had, had prostate cancer, you have doubled the risk of the general population. The second thing in risk factors is race. If you're African American, there's a 60 percent, at 6-0, 60 percent wow. increased risk of developing prostate cancer sometime in your lifetime. So if you're African American and your father had prostate cancer, you, you have a significantly higher risk. Mm -hmm. Also age, as we get older, the incidence of prostate cancer goes up. So men, oh, prostate cancer generally um, affects men over the age of 65, but don't think because you're under, you're immune to it, but we see it much more frequently in men over the age of 65. And also, we have found that obesity and a high body mass mm -hmm. index are related to a higher incidence of prostate cancer. So what are some lifestyle changes that we can make to help you know, ensure that you know, we're going to deter it as much as, po as we possibly can? Well, the only thing that we can do, it's, there's no, uh, nothing related to lifestyle that, that causes prostate cancer except for one thing. We know that obese men mm -hmm. have a higher risk of prostate cancer. So keep your body mass index down below 30, preferably okay. below 25, eat a balanced diet, exercise, those sort of things will help you minimize your risk for prostate cancer. And at what age? Is there a certain age? I know you mentioned 65, you know, to, to make sure you get regular screenings, but if, if we have, if we're at risk, if our genetics and our background, our, our family history, what age should we start? I mean, as early as 30? Well, men over 65 have a higher incidence of prostate cancer, but I recommend starting at age 50, and that's what the American Cancer Society recommends as well, and the American Neurological Association, beginning getting, getting a prostate cancer screening test at age 50. Now, prostate cancer screening is twofold. One's the blood test, the prostate-specific antigen, and the second is a digital rectal examination where the doctor examines the prostate and feels for nodules. If, however, you're at increased risk, Talk to your doctor about screening before you're age 50. When I tell my patients, my patients who are African American or who have a family member with a history of pro a family member with prostate cancer, I recommend to them that they get their first screenings at age 40. So for the women watching, mm -hmm. remember your job is to make sure that you tell your men to get screened, that, you, that, that, that your men stay healthy, have a low body mass index, and be aware of prostate cancer. So God forbid, if you're diagnosed with prostate cancer, it would be caught early in a high cure rate. And, and how, how often? So when we start doing those screenings and, and getting these tests, how often should we do it? Once a year? Once every few years? Yeah, once a year. Once a once year a is year. best. We, we do that with mammograms. We recommend once a year. We recommend this uh, also once a year. There's some new data that shows that maybe you don't need it as often as once a year. Um, and that if your PSA level is, uh, is, is low when you're 40, maybe you don't need to do screenings at all. But it's a simple, inexpensive test. If, we, if, if the goal is once a year, if you aim high, you'll, you'll shoot high. Uh, many men, they miss a year here and there. Women too, when they get mammograms. I see a lot of women that are remiss. They miss a mammogram now and then. But if your goal is to do it once a year, 
uh, you'll get close to that, and if you get it every other year, you'll still be okay. But once a year is what is what the recommendation is. Awareness is key. Make sure Absolutely. that we stay ahead of it and catch it as early as we can. Dr. Ackerman, yes. as you. always, good to see you, and uh, thanks for all the information and for sponsoring this segment. Remember, if you have any questions regarding this topic or any other health questions that you might have, visit Dr. Ackerman's Facebook page, facebook.com forward slash Ackerman Cancer Center.